Welcome! In this video, I will describe setting up and using UAN Payroll for EFT wages. EFT stands for Electronic Funds Transfer and is commonly referred to as Payroll Direct Deposit. This is the first in a series of videos in which we will explain EFT wages from start to finish. UAN also provides a handbook as a supplement to the videos and which covers some of the topics in greater depth. The EFT Training Handbook is available on the UAN website for downloading and printing. If you have not already printed the handbook, please pause the video and print it before continuing. In this video, I will explain what you need to do to get started with your bank. UAN cannot directly arrange EFT transmission on your behalf, since from your bank's perspective, UAN is a third-party service provider. To get started, First, speak with your bank representative to find out what options they have available and if there are any fees for their services. File Upload Method This is the most common method for EFT transmission. It requires you to generate a file, a file that is compliant with some very specific technical information that banking systems use. This option is ideal for entities that have large payrolls because it reduces human errors and is less time consuming than the data entry method. The data entry method usually involves entering each employee's net wages directly into a form on your bank's website after you post the wages with UAN. Even with this method, you will not waste warrant paper since it will print pay stub vouchers instead of warrants. However, it is not ideal because it provides more opportunity for human error and it adds extra work to your schedule. We only recommend it in cases where your bank does not offer file upload or maybe if you have very few people on payroll, such as five to 10 people. Does your bank offer other methods? Currently, 99% of our UAN clients with EFT are using the file upload or the data entry methods. If your bank describes a different method and you're interested in pursuing it, and please let us know and we'll determine whether it's a viable option. The next item is important. The governing board decides on whether to proceed with EFT. This is not a decision the fiscal officer makes. Your board decides and must formally adopt it. You can help them to make an informed decision by researching the bank's options and presenting the information to the board. But they are the ones who must decide. If the board decides to move forward, contact your bank to complete the bank's paperwork first. Some banks may require you to complete paperwork before they will discuss sensitive technical details with you and staff. If your board chooses the file upload method, then forward the following information to UAN, the bank name and branch, the name and the direct phone number of the bank's EFT specialist. A UAN EFT specialist will need the information when they contact the bank to confirm technical details. After providing the bank's contact information to UAN, please allow for two to three business days for a UAN specialist to contact you to schedule a setup appointment. If your board chooses the data entry method, UAN will not need to speak with the bank. Simply contact UAN to arrange a brief meeting over the phone with a UAN EFT specialist for activation and initial setup. At that time, the specialist can answer any questions you might have about EFT training videos and the booklet. The rest of the EFT video series covers the following topics. Please watch all of these short videos and review the EFT booklet to get a complete picture of the EFT process. I hope this was helpful. If you need assistance with the steps shown in this video, please contact UAN Support using the information provided on the screen. All the videos in the EFT series qualify for House Bill 10 training. If you have any questions about self-reporting, please call or email your question using the contact information on the screen. By itself, this video is not long enough to self-report. If you have only watched this video, you cannot self-report the time. However, if you watch more videos in the EFT series and their combined time is at least 30 minutes, you can self-report the combined time.